Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Again, Ukraine is uh, using the wishful thinking method or the method of creating, uh, I don't know, scenarios and uh, hope. Hope for the population to continue doing what they're doing, which is uh, uh, go straight to their um, uh, extermination, little by little. There will not be um, Ukrainian people, I'm guessing, in Ukraine, but will be only the good mercenaries that will defend, uh, I don't know who's, uh, the West uh, uh, big business interests. So they're again telling us, again, in November 17th, 2022, that Russia's latest mass missile strike has depleted its reserves of precision weapons. They're done, man. Done. So everybody's like, oh yeah, we're winning, yeah. Is it true? Well, again, this ISW, I think, is the Institute for Study of War. That's what it is. Uh, fucks up again. I used to uh, like them when they used to be a kind of objective or not objective, realistic in their uh, assessments. I think this, again, why is, is wrong? Because I will prove them, not me, probably the Russians, that they will still have the high precision uh, missiles available. How? They use them already and they will continue to use them. So again, is anybody going back to these guys and say, hey, you see this article that you, that uh, I read from Ukrainska Pravda based on your assessment? Well, you were wrong again. And you're the Institute of Study of War. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How about that? How about you don't say shit anymore unless you really have the evidence? Or you know you, you use certain things like most likely, maybe, probably, possibly. You know what I mean? Don't be so certain in your statements. But anyway, they have to create hope for the people. That's what they do. And they're just, you know, dream makers. This article comes from the New Voice of Ukraine. And this is the title. And this is on the 16th, even worse. So this is November 16th, which is yesterday, right? And they say this, Russia's latest, latest mass missile strike has depleted its reserves of precision weapons, believe ISW. Yes, depleted, how much? I mean, everything that you use depletes it, right? Is it, should, be, should, should we or should the Russians be uh, concerned about that? Are they almost done? It also proved, <clears throat> this is a statement right here that I'm reading right now. It also proved that Russia is unwilling to engage in real peace talks. Okay, why? Proves what? That they continue fighting? So engage in peace talks, meaning automatically that they have to cease fire? If so, why don't the Ukrainians do the same thing? Apply the same rule on both sides and see if, if it's just or not. If apply it only one one side, that means you're just a weasel, a bottom feeder, you know what I mean? So it also proved that Russia is unwilling to engage in real peace talks. Real. What do you mean unreal? They're going to do it in a dream or something? Unreal. Real? What do you mean real? Like uh, with uh, full, uh, how, uh, in good faith? Is that what you mean? Or like the Ukrainians who say, first you have to kill your mom and then we talk? Huh? Is, that, is that what you mean? Oh no, first you have to go back, uh, you give us reparations, kill Putin, and then we talk. Until then we don't engage in peace talks. Is that uh, real? Only then uh, real? That's real? Fuck off. But these are the people we deal with. Imagine you stay across the table with these guys who wrote the article and the ones from ISW and you argue with them about, uh, I don't know, how much sex you should have. See how honest they would be. Intellectual uh, dishonesty is one of the main uh, giveaway of what, how a person is and how much a person is able to think. All right, let's see. It also proved that Russia is unwilling to engage in real peace talks. Okay, the think tank noted. That's a think tank. That's a lot of people, smart people uh, with a lot of knowledge and they uh, look over the information and... Yeah, man, yeah, I think, what do you think? Let's debate this, yes, assess it, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's how they work, really? Anyway, 
the think tank noted, pointing out that the mass strike must have been prepared well in advance of the uh, presentation of President Vladimir Zelensky's 10 points plan because during the G20 leaders summit in Bali, Indonesia. Well, I would like to know what the connection between those guys shooting those, doing the, those uh, 140 uh, whatever missiles they did in the past week with uh, they did it, they planned it, when the guy is gonna speak, then we're gonna do it. Why? Because in their small minds, they think that the Russians did it as a response. Let's see how they uh, try to reason. Use the little uh, nerve, they have their two nerves. When they make contact, then they think something. And then they bang, and then again, for about three seconds, and bang again. That's how they think. They have one neuron, another neuron, and they make uh, contact here and there, you know. Anyway, that means, that means what? That the Kremlin likely deliberately planned a massive missile strike campaign on Ukraine in anticipation of Zelensky's speech at the 20th, uh, G20 summit. What, what means? What's the connection again? That means. So, it also proved that Russia is unwilling to engage in real peace talks, the think tanks noted, pointing out that the mass strikes must have been prepared, why? Well in advance of the presentation of President Volosky. Could be, could be, and why? That means, so he made this point now, that means, based on something unproven, that means that the Kremlin likely deliberately planned a massive, ma massive missile strike campaign on Ukraine in anticipation of Zelensky's speech at the G20 summit. That means what? So he's, he, they make a claim, unproven, based on their maybe, and then the next one, the sentence, they base something, make a statement based on the first one that was not proven yet. That's how it works. And they can make this in three. So they start with some evidence that is not really evidence, it's not proven yet. It's maybe, 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 and after they provide you with this evidence that everything is maybe, at the end they come with a conclusion based on maybes. They come, uh, it was like that. We concluded that it was like that because the evidence provided. Everything you provided was maybe, sometimes, uh, I didn't prove that yet. Oh, I made a statement, but uh, show me the evidence. All this, in the end, comes the definite statement. We found this, resulted this. Uh, most likely, this is the way by the evidence produced. We didn't produce anything. You produced maybes, unproven evidence yet, unverified. Jesus Christ. The impossibility of launching such a strike on short notice highlights the Kremlin's disinterest in setting the stage for negotiations with Ukraine, ISW analyst said. What? The impossibility. Well, how do you know it's impossibility of launching such a strike on short notice? But you made, you made the statements based on no evidence that the Russians did it because Zelensky was speaking. That's not proven. You didn't prove that. Go back to your fucking initial statement and prove that first, that connection. You just a coincidence. Co I can say it's a coincidence. What's the evidence? Well, it happened. Well, it happened that when I was having sex, someone killed his wife because I was having sex. Is that the connection, you fucking idiot? ISW. I want to see the anal fuckingest uh, name, by the way. Uh, and then ISW experts speculate. Yeah, that's what it is. Speculation. Speculate that Russian troops have depleted significantly their stock of cruise missiles and drones. Uh, let me speculate uh, uh, the other way. I think the Russians actually have more missiles than at the beginning. Why? Uh, because it's Russia, man. It's Russia. That's the evidence. How about that kind of argument across the table with this kind of fucking expert, experts? Experts. <laughs> As, yes, experts. Uh, experts. I'm going to call them experts from now on. So that's, that's their proof, the speculators here. The damage is unlikely to break Ukrainian spirit. However, given Ukraine's improving air defense and recent ground victories in Kherson Oblast, the report ends. Oh, that's where the report reads. Wow. So um, this is what it is. They don't have any more, um, they, they don't have any more um, missiles. They deplete their missiles. That's speculation. That speculation. You know what speculation is? I think maybe, yeah, let's try. Ah, 
based on the evidence that I have, maybe not evidence, I might uh, yeah, speculate about the outcome of this. It's, you know, you can do that, but speculation is not uh, an evidence. It's that someone thinks about something, something. Speculates that might be, could be, never be, all be. All right? And these guys are the experts. They started with a, a statement that was not proven. The connection between that, by the way, you fuck ups, just so you know, in, uh, since the 11th of, of uh, November until the 16th of November, the Russians hit 146 missiles they used. How about that? Deple they depleted their things. Remember you ISW, in April, your guys, you know what I mean? Um, uh, the Western guys, the British, uh, whatever his name is, Ben Wallace came and said, uh, you know what, the Russians are depleted, they're depleted, they're almost done with their missiles, they are uh, almost done. That was in April. So in, in late February, March and half of April when I made that video, so let's say two months, in two months the Russians almost done and we are 10 months in the, in the conflict. So eight months past their bullshit statement and they still used 140 some, uh, I made a video on that, since 11th of, of November. So in the past six days they used that. This morning on the 17th they used 16 um, high precision guided missiles. So what are you talking about? Is anybody slapping these guys around and say, hey, grab them like you grab a cat, put them with the nose in the poop and say, don't do this again? What the hell? That's what they do? No. They're going to still have the think tank is going to be quoted by whomever uh, feels that their uh, analysts uh, are saying what they're supposed to or fits their narrative. And they're going to be, oh, respected ISW think tank. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, look at it. You have the brains. You read the information, you read the knowledge, they just come with a statement. They don't want to seriously uh, negotiate. How do you know? They were the only ones who never said we never negotiate. They were the only ones on this conflict. The, the other ones did not want to negotiate. The Americans said no, 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 no. The, um, at, at one point, they all said no. Ukraine, no. So who wants to negotiate? Tell me, ISW. You're just weasels trying to make, uh, um, you know, how should I put it? Uh, create narratives based on speculations oh man so yeah i don't know if the russians i do not know and neither do they know how many uh, rockets and missiles they had and they still have they do not know that and if they knew they would put it over there and say russia has 1325 had them and their production creates five a day that's all they can create. So they used so far this amount. You can make an average how many they used a day and you figure out if the war continues the way it continues with the five every day. They let's say use 10 every day. That means they lose every day five because they produce five out of 10. They use every day as, as an average and as the key word. That means they lose five, five, five. How many more they have from the, from the total that we knew at the beginning, how much they use so far. From that, we can approximate, speculate how many they will have and how, may, how much longer they will be able. I don't see those numbers. I do not see those numbers. But they all say, oh, they're almost done. Well, if you, it's almost done, that means you know how many they had and how many they have right now or even how many they have right now. You must know. Why don't you give us a number? Because you don't fucking have it. <sighs> Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.